In my wildest dreams, I would never have thought that I would get an invite to the White House, get an invite to speak at the main assembly hall at the United Nations in Geneva, to travel the world, to inspire local Rotary Clubs to join their Salvation Army to break the intergenerational cycle of family domestic violence in their local community, their way. All I wanted to do as a businesswoman, as a mother and a wife, I wanted to volunteer in my local community in Perth, Western Australia. I wanted to do something for victims and survivors of family domestic violence, but I didn't know how. So I rang around to a lot of refuges and the only one who let me in was Major Margaret, because back then in 2008, it was all about secrecy. She invited and she taught me and my friend, Helena, before you can help, you need to understand. And that's when my journey began. Thank you so much for having me as a speaker today at Rotary Club of Svedala in Sweden on your business networking and business conference that you have today. Thank you, Hans, who is the president, and thank you, Lotta and Oke, for doing all of this and inviting a program that is not Swedish, but jag är svensk. Mitt namn är Rebecca Tolstoy och jag kommer från Helsingborg i södra Sverige. Jag och min man, när min vår son var fem år, så flyttade vi på ett äventyr ner till Perth i Västra Australien. Där jag satt upp min revisionsfirma och ett fintech company. Så del av min journey har varit Rotary. Största delen har varit Rotary. För när du flyttar iväg från din familj och ditt business network, Rotary became my family, became my business network and opened up so many doors locally for business, but mainly the network in the world with people who are as passionate about breaking the intergenerational cycle of family domestic violence as I am, but also Rotary do so many different, different, different charities and projects. This is just one Rotary story. This is a Rotary story. John, could you tell me a bit about what Path of Hope has meant to you so far? It's meant a lot to me. <laughs> It meant a lot to me because there's not many chances in life to involve oneself in something that comes from nothing and then ends up on a world scale eventuality and still growing virtually day by day. Mm. Well, it's been super inspiring for me to be involved in that process of growth. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about uh, what was happening in the past and sort of where it came from. Well, it had a very humble beginning. Um, Path of Hope is the product, of course, of one lady from Sweden who in turn came to Western Australia, which we are very, very grateful for. She could have gone anywhere else in the world, she and her husband and her son, but they came to Western Australia and she took on a career in the area of accounting. And Rebecca Tolstoy, like everything else in her life that I've since learnt, does everything well in advance of the present. She plans and has vision well above that of the normal person. So on the area of completion, it just happened by chance once again that my accountant in this particular firm in Western Australia um, said to me, I want you to meet somebody. She's um, bigger than life and she's doing things in our organisation that we never thought would ever happen and I believe you have connections and been to a few places that might be able to assist in illustrating to others what her desires in life are. Mm. And that's how Path of Hope first started. Was it you and Rebecca that first started it off? Well, no, it was Rebecca started this on her own. She mm. had, as I mentioned before, the vision of wanting to do something with the experiences she'd had in her birthplace and when she came to Australia, she didn't know how to do that. So she asked around and eventually as a result of that, as I mentioned, we met. And I thought, well, now there's only one place where you can achieve the levels that you want. And that's through Rotary, because there's no bigger or more respected not-for-profit on the globe than Rotary. But it's 1.2 million people and they're pretty well in every country in the world. 
So fortunately, the club that I belong to from the early 1980s is the oldest and largest club in Western Australia. So to have Rebecca join that club, I assumed that she would then over a period of years get to know a lot more people and put her desires into place. But then I found out that she really wasn't quite sure how she could pay back to Australia the feeling she has of her husband and her son and herself being happy in a country that was quite different to Central Europe. Mm. And then it, we discussed it. After she'd had time to settle into Rotary, and incidentally, turned that around quite dramatically with her <laughs> ideas as she let them know what she felt Rotary should be doing that they weren't doing. And after a breaking in period, we all adopted an attitude that said, young lady, you've got more get up and go in you than we've seen for some time, so let's, let's back you and do what we can to make things happen. Mm. Then it came to the point, well, what would that thing be? And where was her expertise? Well, we knew she was a qualified accountant, so that was a good start. But it was more important than that. She believed that from her life in Sweden, she was bringing with her some experiences of life where there were some concerns, and those concerns were to do with the problems that exist in our family relationships. And when they break down, it goes to dramatic end results that we can all do without. So breaking the cycle of domestic family violence was the path that she said in personal conversations, I would like to pursue. Now in Western Australia, the greatest existing body for this epidemic that we're now seeing across the world was the Salvation Army. And the Salvation Army, which of course is the other major not-for-profit in the world. So her thought was, how can we bring these two worldwide bodies together? So we had to start with having a look at what the Salvation Army were doing. So Rebecca went and met the principals there, spoke to them, and she had to be very careful because she was stepping into an area where that's their business and that's their organisation. But when she saw how the problems of the mothers and the kids in general were being handled, she realised that there was avenues there that could be improved on. And then that course was then pursued. Mm. And that started at least the association between Rebecca and Rotary and the Salvation Army. Mm. Could you talk a little bit about the MOU that's come from that and what that means for yourself and Path of Hope? Well, there had to be an understanding and a respect from each other to each other by the two organisations. And to that end, the MOU was structured in a way that a model was created. Because Rebecca's idea was that what happened in the past wasn't necessarily that which should happen in the future. So the MOU was an understanding that Rotary would be the creator of funds and the Salvation Army would be the beneficiary of those funds to be directed in this very necessary area of their very wide base into the area of breaking the cycle of domestic family violence. Mm. So that was the key issue. Rebecca's ideas then were happening almost day by day, as she said, that we can't just accept the fact that there's a mother and children in an established help centre that are not then being helped further. So let's get some counselling for the mothers. Let's get the mothers to understand if they're on their own as a result of the tragedy that's occurred, that they can go to someone, people who can teach them how to run a home when maybe in the past they had no association with a financial background. Teach them about the areas that a combined parent would have shared and now here's the mother on her own responsible for everything. A job, looking after the children, having closer association with schools, health involvements, all the things that a single parent had to learn overnight. 
So these benefits were supplied in her mind by getting this very important area of Path of Hope through volunteers. What is it about Path of Hope that is so I'm so passionate about? Well, number one, being able to give just to give, not to give to get. That's what Path of Hope was really about, about getting people a little bit of their time, their time and their talent. We need to understand each other, respect each other. No matter where you are. No matter who you are. No matter what age you are. Become a Rotarian or a friend of Rotary and do something for the betterment of your community. We would love to have you as a fellow Rotarian. For the good of mankind, all you need to do is to become a Rotarian.